Hello friends, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, previously, I have uh, prepared one video regarding the auto layout where I have explained the dynamic uh, leading constraints, dynamic trailing constraint and aspect ratio. In that video, uh, one of uh, the person that is named Mohit, he asked one question on that about the auto layout. So just I want to uh, clear his doubt in this video. Hope you guys are uh, going to like this video. So let me uh, show you the question, whatever he mentioned in the comment. That is, I need to ask one thing. If we have two text field, I give leading, trailing and top constraints. Suppose I choose iPhone SE. So leading 20, trailing 20 and top 64. Now I want to give multiplier leading constraints zero and multiplier will be 20 oblique 320 trailing constraints will be zero and multiplier will be 320 by 300 and top constraints zero and multiplier will be 64 by 568 so my first text field all set with multipliers correct i agree now how can i give top constraint constraints to second text field from first text field with multiplier leading and trailing is same as in first text field but the problem in top constraint of second text field. So Mohit, I guess I can understand your problem. So let me give you example so that I can explain this scenario. So this is my XIB. So what I'll do as Mohit said, he has taken one uh, text field and as per him, I'll give the constraint. So let me give you this first 64. He's saying leading and trailing will be 20 and here I'm keeping this height 20 fixed so all set about it now about the dynamic uh, constraints so what I'll do I'll change it to the bottom okay and I'll change this to the multiplier 64 by 568 so we are on the same positions now leading will be the 20 and this will be the 20 by 320 because I have selected here iPhone SE so I am giving the constraint multiplier based on the iPhone SE device okay so what I'll do need to change this is leading and this is leading so I'll change it to trailing and again I'll come to the bottom area what we'll do I'll make it 0 and I will make it this 320 by 300 okay and this is done correct so you can see that here 20 20 and everything is done so if i am going to change so here you can see this y position is 74 correct because we have done from the bottom of it correct now i am going to change it this is 83 this is now 95 so it's increasing because <coughs> we want the same right and leading you can see is 20 here here it's 23.5 here it's uh, 23.67 so leading also getting change now so everything is uh, you know uh, getting change based on the device whatever whichever we want actually we have done this so now his question about the second text field so what he is saying that he can give the fixed height that 30 to it that's fine he, are, he is saying that he can give the leading and trailing based on the first text field that's perfectly fine so he's done about it what he is saying his, his question is uh, that he has given this uh, 20 top uh, from the uh, first text field bottom so he is asking uh, Mohit, I, if I can I understand your question, you want to make it this um, vertical spacing dynamic, right? So that <coughs> so that about uh, based on the device, yeah, this should be scalable, correct? So the, if this is your doubt, so my solution is like you know this kind of situations about when I have explained this uh, dynamic leading trailing top bottom constraint, it means about the dynamic spacing right so in this scenario you can uh, have um, different different solutions so i'll mention few solu uh, solutions here so it's basically required about your screen whatever you want to design 
so in this case what you can do you can uh, do this uh, same which you may uh, done I guess so this is 20 correct but here what you have to do you have to check it this 122 this is 122 correct <coughs> for the SDS sorry guys I'm uh, suffering from cold so <laughs> sorry for this so this is 122 correct for the SE so what do what you will do will select here you will make it 0 you will give this 122 oblique 568 it will go up correct so what I'll do I'll make it this top sorry this is so let me revert it so this is 20 right so I want this space 20 so what I'll do he, here is 22 so I'll remove this uh, top and I'll give this from the super view top space okay and this is 122 so what I'll do I'll change here whatever we have done with the you know <coughs> first device so what I'll do I'll make it here 0 and here will be the 102 by 568 okay and I'll change it this to bottom okay so sorry that was 122 yes right so this is 122 <coughs> okay so this <coughs> will make your uh, this thing dynamic so you can see here y122 if I'll change the this this is 143 this is 167 okay this is this is one approach okay but here uh, your question will be why I am I need to take each and every one based on the top because we are calculating it from the top and bottom from the super view that's why I have taken the super view uh, rather than taking from the first text field this this is the first solution okay let me revert it okay so we can check the other option whatever we can what we can do here cool so this is 20 this is one approach so uh, the second approach is this is 20 and I want to make it dynamic so what I'll do I'll delete this text field here you can do the stack view okay or you can give some padding so you should take some UI view in this case okay what will do this this is UI view correct so what I'll give, I'll give this top 0 and this is also will be 0, this is will be 0 and the height will be 20 because we want 20 spacing, okay. Let me give this color for you so that we can understand this. This is color, right. Now what I'll do, I'll take the UI text field, the second one and I'll give this top 0, okay, and height, height 30 and the leading will be from here as you have given in your example or question okay that's fine that's fine now what will happen we need to make this dynamic so sorry so I'll give the equal height okay this equal height is this is so what I'll do I'll give the multiplier 20 by 568 okay okay so here 20 by uh, 568 so this is dynamic right <clears throat> so here again you can see this is 122 again if I'll go here this is 136.5 this is 154.3 the y position so this is also dynamic so here you can see th of this view this height is 20 here this is 23.5 here this is 28.67 so you can achieve this kind of thing in uh, several ways so whatever I have uh, you know uh, given uh, by two ways so you can use any any of this way or you can decide uh, 
your some your logic to achieve this because now you know about the uh, aspect ratios and dynamic things so basically this is uh, sometimes you have to take some super view some stack view where you need to keep some uh, you know uh, elements in that so that you can uh, achieve this kind of functionality so it's basically up to you so here you can do you can give this ui view as a clear color and this is also people call the uh, padding so you can use padding consider it as a padding okay so your UI look like uh, on that okay uh, so I think you guys uh, understand sorry for the um, uh, bad voice I'm suffering from the cold <laughs> that's why uh, it's happening as Mohit mentioned it's uh, on the urgent basis that's why I have I'm pre I have prepared this video hope you guys uh, like if any suggestions please let me know thank you guys thanks a lot